Welcome to Hot or Not Thursday. Today, as promised, we are talking about Maybelline's new summertime collection, Bleached Neons. These are not brand new products. They are limited edition colors, so they're already, you know, products that exist, I believe, with exception of the bronzer. Everything else already exists within the Maybelline range. So that being said, let's kind of dive through the colors, the formulas, and all of that good stuff. There is a display with bronzer and with a cream glaze bronzer. There's a display with nail polish. There's a display with the Color Elixir glosses. There's a display with Maybelline color tattoos. So there's a little bit of everything. It's all extremely summer appropriate and just looking at it makes me happy. I love these kind of colors. They're just bright and airy and fun. And I'm gonna start with what I'm holding in my hand. Now, probably just even looking at this, you're like, oh yeah, summertime. Like it's just such fun colors. Um, I really had to hold myself back. Like honestly, there was a coral tone that was a little bit deeper, a little bit brighter than this one right here. And I was like, I have like five shades exactly like that. Why do I need this? I don't. Like hold back, restrain yourself, stop being a polish addict, and only buy three. All right, so this shade right here has to be my favorite color. Like this is the perfect color for me. I love it so much. It is called Bleached in Peach. I even like the name. The color formula is horrible. It just kind of goes on a little gloppy. You really have to wait for each coat to dry. Otherwise, you are gonna drag some of that color off and you're gonna have little bald patches within your nail polish. I find that that happens with all of the shades and not just in the bleached collection, in the uh, color show collection just itself. The formula is really not that great. I wish it was better because they have great colors. So you kind of make a sacrifice there. You kind of know what you're getting into if you've tried any of these before, but they are super affordable. They're $3.99 and if you find them on sale on top of that and you really like a color, you know, why not? Um, this shade right here, Citrus Collide, this actually went on quite creamy. It was the best application of the bunch and I really like it. I normally hate yellows. I normally feel like, why would you want yellow nails? But this is such a bright yellow and the way it dries down is exactly like what you see in the bottle. It doesn't turn more yellowy yellow, it stays very pale, which sometimes when you buy these yellow shades, they turn more orangey dark yellow on the actual nail itself, when what you're after is that beautiful pale kind of just perfect yellow. Am I making sense here? Probably not. This shade Lime Accent just pisses me off altogether. I don't like the color, it's so gloppy, you cannot get it right. This is three coats, it just looks weird. I'm looking at my hand and I'm like, I really want to be able to pull off green polish and even if this formula was fantastic and it applied like a dream, I still think I'd be looking at my fingers being like, no, we've passed that stage in life. This is just not for you. I'm kind of, you know what? The polishes are hit or miss. I really, I love the colors. I hate the formula. So I don't even know what to say. Is it hot? Is it not? I don't even know. I probably, no, I only hate the green one. I kind of love the other two. What's up? Moving forward, let's talk about the Color Whispers. Now, I kind of had a thing for Color Whispers about a year ago. When they first came out, I bought almost every color. It was my go-to, every day, on the go, in the purse product. And I really love the formula. I love how they give you just a tiny hint of color. A lot of the balms that they brought to the drugstore that are really popular, you know, that you kind of see them everywhere now, really have such intensity in them that it's not that kiss of color. It's not that little bit of color. It's just too much. And these are just like right in the middle. They give you enough color, enough shine, but they're not overpowering. It's not a lipstick. It's kind of that hybrid. So they brought out two shades. One is called Peach Punch. The other is Pop of Poppy. Peach Punch is my new absolute favorite thing in the world. Oh my goodness. I cannot even tell you how gorgeous this shade is. Whether you are wearing full makeup or no makeup, it is just perfect. Now, I was rifling through my collection and I was like, did I buy something really similar to another coral? They had one called Coral Ambition. Now, Coral Ambition, similar, but also not, because Coral Ambition is a little more difficult to wear. It's a little almost too bright and too pale and too coral. This one, the new limited edition, is just, it's perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it. Peach Punch, can't get enough. This one, Pop of Poppy, also 
totally gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I just, I can't even. I love these. These are gonna be very useful for this warm weather that is going on right now. It's just very summery and I love it. Okay, the elixirs, oh my gosh, again, I love these. I got the shade I'm Blushing, which is just, again, that perfect coral, absolutely love it. Oh my goodness, it cushions the lips in the exact perfect way and gives it just a hint of color. I'm wearing it right now. This one is a dream. I also got the shade Lux in Lilac. This reminds me a lot of a Buxom shade I recently showed you guys, and I thought it might be a more budget-friendly option that I could recommend, and I was right. It is totally beautiful. It's even a little more shiny, and it's just gorgeous. I love it. These are just two absolute winners, and they have a ton of fun colors too, so check out that part of the display for sure. These are hot. Also, totally hot. I absolutely love the shades they have for the color tattoos. I have never loved color tattoo limited edition shades more. These are absolutely just the most beautiful, duochromatic, just wonderful, I, I can't even love them, love them. I'm actually wearing both of these. I'm wearing Shimmering Sea all over my lid and then a little bit of Sun Wash Sky just in the inner corner. It's bringing that really beautiful light pale baby blue with a hint of purple and it has kind of a little bit of a sparkly thing going in it. Shimmering Sea is more wearable for every day if you're looking for something a little more natural. It's kind of this sea green with a little bit of gold. It has a nice soft sheen to it. It's not sparkly, which I really, really like. And these just stay in place all day long. They work great as an eye base to kind of enhance any other shadows you might already have. And I am just blown away. So yeah, grab those as soon as you can if you see the display. Okay, so we have a lot of hot products here and now we have a not so hot product. Um, yeah, I don't like this one too much. The Master Bronze Matte Bronzing Powder. This comes in three shades. This is the darkest. This is number 330 Paradise Bronze. The reason I grabbed the darkest one is because it looked the least orangey, and I hate, hate, hate when bronzers get orangey on the face. And it also looked the most matte. Now they all say they're matte, but I just, I disagree. I was looking close up at my skin and I was like, there's actual flecks of gold like reflecting in the light. So this is not completely matte. I don't know, there's something kind of off about the formula to me. I don't really like it. It's a little bit chalky, a little bit powdery. And I find the color, even this one, to be a bit orange. Even though it doesn't look orange, it kind of applies orange. So be warned, this one, not so hot. I personally wasn't a fan. I definitely prefer other bronzers. I recently did a top five bronzer video. I'll link that below. And also I noticed on the display that all of the master glaze, like the twist up glaze bronzers, those hadn't been sold. Like everything else was sold out, very picked over. And then there was like a full line of them. And I'm like, huh. All right, so I'm gonna trust uh, everyone else shopping and I'm not even gonna purchase that because it looks like it might totally be a dud. There you have it. That is my hot or not for the Maybelline Bleached Neons. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and leave me in the comments what you would like to see me review next. Lots of new collections coming out, so let me know if there's something you're super interested in. And other than that, have a great day. I will see you next time. Mwah.